guess what the main ingredient in victory in your life is? Discipline. Yeah. All day. There is no shortcut. There is no hack. There's no sweatless solution. You, you're gonna have to work. There is always weakness to work on. Always. A lot of them. Why would we allow ourselves to make easy, easy excuses? Why would you allow that? The SEALs didn't beat this into me. You have to have it before you even get there. Because if you're not structured and disciplined for you get there, they can't teach you while you're getting your ass kicked because you'll quit. So basically for me is once you really want to become uncommon amongst the best people in the world, you can't give yourself a way out. A common individual can stay on point, you know, on point for a year and they fall off. That's normal. It's the uncommon person that has, oh, how long have you? Well, I haven't taken the day off in six years. You don't hear that very often. That's how you start to separate yourself. So to separate yourself, you can't allow yourself to say, oh man, for some reason, I let myself go for a week and then I just I have a hard time getting back. You have to put in your mind that I don't want to be that person anymore. For me to separate myself from everybody, that's what most people do. Most people cannot be like, oh, I'm not missing today regardless because if I miss today, I'm going to miss tomorrow. And I know that about myself. So come hell or high water, I'm going to get it in. And you have to get the mindset of, it haunts you if it if you know if you don't get it in. I've had people that listen to the podcast and they've reached out to me over the past few years. And one of the main messages that they took and put into action was actually putting things into action. Whatever that was. They they stopped eating sugar. They stopped sleeping in. They they started waking up early. They they quit playing video games for 10 or 12 or 14 hours a day. They sold that Xbox thing. There's people that quit drinking, that quit doing drugs, and quit losing their temper. And I've heard from so many different people that have implemented change in their lives. So, so many letters and messages and notes. And I want you to know that these people aren't a bunch of, of elite special operations warriors. That's not who, who they are. They aren't a bunch of high level athletes or highly screened and highly trained individuals. These are just, just normal people, really. But they're normal people that knew they needed to make a change. And they decided they were going to make a change and then they made it. And that is what I do. And that is what you can do. If you have something to change, if you want to change something, change it. Change it now. When you, the, the actual time that you need to go on the warpath and you need to go harder on the warpath is when things are going wrong wrong that's when you need to dig deeper that's when you need to that's when the whole like idea of saying good that's when it happens when things are actually when you're getting tested by the world that's when you want to do it so when you get tested by the world that's when you get the opportunity to show the world what you're made of that's when you get to say Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, things are going wrong. Bring it on. I actually look forward to that. Because 
this is when I get to exercise my discipline. This is when I get to show the discipline. I get to put the discipline to work. It's the moment I have been waiting for. Because let's face it, if things were easy, then then I could just sit around and slack off. Right? That's what that's what could happen. When things are easy, when things are going right, that's when you actually can slack off a little bit because things are going right. I don't recommend it. I recommend actually when things are going right, you go hard. But when things are going wrong, you need to go even harder. So if everything's going wrong, it doesn't matter to me because I'm on the path. I'm going to stay on the path, on the war path. I'm going to get my situation rectified. Stat. Other than death, all failure is psychological. Other than death, all failure is psychological. Think about that. Just, just, just think about that. This failure, this upset, this, this catastrophe. If you aren't dead, then it's just psychological. It's in your head. Now, this does not mean that you won't lose some battles because you will. We all will. But it does mean that as long as you don't surrender, as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't quit, then you haven't failed. It just means you've made a temporary tactical retreat means you've made a a brief withdraw so that you can regroup and reattack so as far as I'm concerned if you get beat unless you're dead you are not defeated and you have not failed what you've done is you've learned you've you've gained experience and you're still alive and you have memories to make so get up and go get after it I talk to myself in a very honest way a lot of things I'm not great at and if you're not if you don't have that in you you gotta tell yourself that so for me, like when I tell people, I, I know I'm uncommon, it's because I know that there's not many people in the world doing what I'm doing. Not because I'm blowing smoke up my ass, it's because I set out to do this. I set out to be uncommon. You have to set out to be a business person. You have to set out to be an entrepreneur. And you can't just be like, you know what? I'm gonna be an entrepreneur. No has to be something that you're thinking about all the time. You're kind of born with it, but if the idea just doesn't leave your head and you're obsessed about, man, you know, I really want to get this going, you're not going to give up when the time gets hard. So it's the preparation that you've put into your entire life, your entire life that gets you ready for the unprepared. So what does that mean? If every day you're getting up and you're sacrificing and you're pushing hard and you're exceeding these limits every day, everything you do, your mind is slowly getting calloused. Callous is like, so my hands are calloused from doing pull-ups. And you can callous your mind by continuously pushing hard at whatever you do. So calluses protect your hands. Calluses can protect your mind too. If you're constantly pushing hard, the second this crazy thing comes up you're not ready for, you really are ready for it. Because your mind's like, oh, we got harder shit than this. We can handle this also. But a weak mind, an unprepared mind, not like you know what's gonna happen, but most people who come into life unprepared, that one you know, quick thing that happens to you that fucks you up, it's gonna fuck you up real bad. Because you're not even ready for life. You've 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 never grinded, you've never sacrificed. So how the fuck are you ready for this? So you're preparing your mind every day 
for those incidents that you're not aware of. Life throws something at you different every day, unless you just don't live life. You just live day to day about let's pay this bill, let's do this, let's do that. If you're taking chances and taking risk, which is what life's all about, that's how you really make it in the world. Well, my main purpose, when I was growing up, I thought it was just to be some big loser. I thought I was put here just to, just to fail. And that was my mindset. Until I realized that my life, my childhood, all the things I had to endure, that they were the ultimate training ground for my true purpose in life. My true purpose in life is to be a teacher. I believe that we're all teachers. We just don't know it. We, we, we walk around thinking we have nothing to say. We have nothing to teach. We're no one. And life is constantly educating us. And we sit back and don't realize that this is nothing but a big lesson. I realized it. I took it on board. And I believe, you know, basically, I'm, I'm a teacher. And my job is to continuously gain knowledge from my own personal experiences and from my own life. The single trait of greatness is realizing that you're only really utilizing a fraction of your brain, a fraction of your mental power. You're using only a fraction of it because your mind is guiding you into the great world of comfort. The mind has a lot of information, your brain has a lot of information it has to process and decipher and go through and shit like that. So you don't have to decipher comfort. You don't have to do all that shit. Comfortable is just very easy. So the brain loves it. It's like, okay, we have to know math and English and different phone numbers and codes and shit. You know, let's just say comfortable. I have too much to know. So it guides you away from comfort. Once you start to take ownership of your own personal mind and your mind doesn't own you, and you start to go into this world of very uh, of being uncomfortable and living there for a long period of time, you are forcing your mind to go from a very closed mind to an open mind because like, man, now I have to find a way to get through this. And you start to have to open doors. So basically that is, that's, that's where it's at. We lie to ourselves. We don't tell ourselves the way things really are. And when we do that, then we can't fix our problems. If we can't fix our problems, we're not going to improve. So we have to be truthful to ourselves. I have to be truthful to myself. You have to be truthful to yourself. You have to stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth so that you can get where you want to go. You can be who you want to be. You can be who you should be. Who you should be when you do what you know you should do, when you pay attention to the little things, when you implement discipline, true and unflinching and unmitigated discipline in your life, when you stop, when you stop trying to find a sweatless solution, when you look for weaknesses to work on, when you allow no easy excuses, and all that starts when you stop lying to yourself. When you stop lying to yourself, that's when you can become who you know you should be. When you tell yourself the truth about where you are so you can make sure you are in the right place. And if you're not in the right place, then you can get yourself on the path to get there. The path of discipline, the path of hard work, and the path of 